I'm Alice and I would like to welcome you once again to Whistle Bear, our small family farm in Northumberland in the UK. Here we farm Angora goats for their beautiful mohair and Wensleydale sheep for their soft long wool and we produce our very own knitting yarn. If you'd like to know more about us you can sign up for our newsletter on our website or you can find us all over social media as Whistle Bear. This is the fifth episode of our Whistle Bear vlog and today we are going to be updating you on little Cassie's progress. You may remember Cassie from our last episode, she is a very very small bottle fed kid but she's doing really well so we thought we'd show her to you again today. Um, we'll also of course be showing you what we're knitting, what we're going to knit, we've got some finished objects as well. Um, and then, then we're going to introduce you to a thousand new members of the Whistlebear Environmental Squad. Here at Whistlebear, we try to farm very much in sympathy with the environment. When you work with nature, you get wonderful results rather than trying to impose your view all the time. And we are very optimistic that our thousand new helpers are really going to help us. Well, uh, the really great news about little Cassie is she has been doing very, very well with her bottle and she has grown and got stronger, so much so that we have actually put her back with the main herd. So she's back with her mum and she's back with her twin sister. In fact, she's so big now that she's not being fed from a tonic water bottle anymore. She has graduated to a wine bottle. Let's go and see if we can find her. Now, where's my little Cassie? Good girl, Cassie. Here you are. Here you are. Oh, and you, Dandy. Hello, Dandy. Yes, no, that's not for you, though. Look at your beautiful fleece, Fatty. You're a clever girl. Well done, little Cassie. Good girl. Hey, don't eat my toes. Don't eat my toes. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes. Oh, is that nice? Oh, that's a naughty dog. That's a naughty dog. No, don't, don't, don't chew my new jumper. No, no, I've just knitted that. And this is little Dandy. Dandy is the matriarch of the herd um, Blossom's daughter. And Dandy, for some reason, is terribly friendly. Aren't you, little Dand? Dandy is short for dandelion, obviously. He's a good girl. Say hello, say hello. Good girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> mind you too, my monkey sends you his card again, but you can't have my liberty shirt. First up, I just had to show you our newest pattern. This is called Marguerite Daisy and it was designed by Kirsty, very first pattern she's ever designed. Um, a lot of you will know Kirsty because she stands the stalls with me at all the big yarn shows. Anyway, she has knitted our daisy scarf a number of times and just loves this stitch pattern, which I have to say I do too. So she then wanted a little jumper to develop it into, I suppose. Um, so she's she's done this pretty bodice with the daisy pattern and then a nice simple stocking stitch body with just a little eyelet border. And um, I have to say, I absolutely love it. It's just knitted out of our four ply yarn and um, it is our feature pattern for yarns around Northumberland this month. Awesome. And it's in a special color called Dreaming of Peonies because as you all know, I love my flowers and I particularly love peonies. So the color is Dreaming of Peonies and um, the name Marguerite is for the daisy, but it's also for um, a fairly sad young lady, um, Princess Margaret, who used to live in Bamborough Castle. I think she's actually a legend but she was very unfortunately turned into a dragon so if you would like to know more about her and our lovely new pattern then please sign up for our newsletter because it is our yarns around Northumberland story this month 
So what have we been knitting? Well, I am delighted to finally tell you I have finished my nook. Um, and it's already looking um, a little bit well worn because it's been well worn. I have been wearing it all the time. It is a perfect little summer jumper. So I'm really pleased with that. And I'm equally pleased to have finally finished it. So there we are, my nuke in double knit in joyful. Um, meanwhile, Tess has also been knitting away. She is knitting fog. Um, it's by Yona Hitala and it's from the second edition of Lane magazine and uh, in the last episode you'll remember I had banned her from knitting it in grey and as you can see just like my children Tess listens to everything I say and so here she is knitting it in beautiful will-o'-the-wisp grey. Um, it is a great choice actually because I think this is just really really pretty um, in this colour and it's going to be so useful and easy to wear in the summer or even in the evenings. You could easily imagine that over a little black dress or something like that. So yes it's coming along a treat, obviously not looking its best while it's still on its needles but I can't wait to see that finished. I think that's going to be lovely. Um, Ah, and well, no, not last actually, nearly last, but definitely not least, I finished something else. So I'm very smug. This is Soiree. It's um, from the fifth anniversary edition of Pom Pom, and it's designed by Emily Foden. And um, I've knitted it in our Yevering Bell double knit uh, in a colour called Sphagnum Moss colour that you all helped me choose if you remember a few episodes ago. Um, it's just a little um, cropped jersey and it's got this lovely cabling detail up the sides and um, under the arms and uh, I have only just got this off the blocks so um, I haven't actually worn it yet but I will no doubt be wearing it in a future episode to show it to you all but very proud of that. So what are we knitting now? Well, um, Tess is midway through her fog, so she's being kept plenty busy. And uh, I, meanwhile, have started a lovely pattern called Summer by Anki Strick. Um, unfortunately, it's not going that well because I really wanted to knit something out of um, our Ginger Ninja. And I had only dyed Ginger Ninja in double knit and the pattern calls for um, a non-living fiber, so linen or silk or something like that. And so I have some rather fabulous um, Lithuanian linen from um, the lovely Midwinter Yarns. Um, and I just thought those two colors together were fantastic. So I've been holding the two yarns together and knitting summer. But um, the result is much too dense a fabric. I think, I, I don't think it's going to be nice at all. So after much heartache, I have decided there is only one solution, which is something that I find extremely difficult to do. And that is, I am going to frog the whole thing and I'm going to do it right now in front of you, or at least I'm going to start it right now in front of you. Um, and, um, I will have to think of a new project for the Ginger Ninja and I but I, I think I am going to knit summer but I think it will work better in our four ply yarn so um, if you can bear to watch I'm going to frog it completely oh it was a new thing knitting for me with linen and um, it really is a, a very different um, fibre to knit with and it, it, it holds its structure really firmly so um, it, it, it wasn't going to give and drape in, in the way that I wanted it to so that was that was new for me and a learning curve mm, I can't find the end now um, so I have three skeins of Ginger Ninja double knit so if anybody can suggest a nice little pattern, I could of course knit another nuke, but I've knitted a nuke now, I want to go on to something new. So if anybody can suggest a little sleeveless or vesty type pattern, then I would really like to hear. Our new 
workers are, of course, bees. They actually belong to the biggest junior goat slave. They were his birthday present. Oh, you have to knock them down. The grass mixtures that we grow here at Whistle Bear are specially designed for the goats, and they include lots of different legumes. Legumes are great for the biodiversity of the soil and fix nitrogen from the air, increasing the fertility of the land without any application of chemical fertilisers. A lot of legumes need insects for cross-pollination and also happen to be nectar-rich plants for bees. So our bees will help the legumes, which help the soil and the goats, and they will give lots of lovely honey. A truly virtuous circle. As a sideline, we are delighted that our new nucleus of bees is very docile. We are very hopeful that visitors to our studio next year might even be able to buy a jar of honey with their yarn. So that brings us just about to the end. This is our fifth episode of Yarns from the Farm. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Cassie again and meeting the bees and seeing a bit of farming here at Whistlebear. And um, do leave me a suggestion of a pattern, if you would, for my Ginger Ninja. Um, it's got three skeins of double knit. Um, and if you would like to see more, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel or sign up for our newsletter. Bye.